You know how Google sometimes thinks it knows better than you do. So you type in Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro Beta. Boosh. Google then goes, did you mean Mizuno Neo Vista? The reason I say that, yes, I do love this shoe. I do. But my favorite shoe that Mizuno makes, bang, is this one, Neo Vista. I love this so much. I even got it in the other colorway. There. This one here. But this is not what we came to talk about. That's the what we want to talk about. And whilst this shoe might not necessarily align to me, listen to Ryan from Believe in the Run on how he got on at Amsterdam Marathon 2024. Go, how did it go? It went really well. Yeah. 25-ish minute PR. So 25? 25. Wait, so what did you come with before? Uh, I was at a 353 and I ran about a 326. Hey, come on Ryan, man. Hey. This is Mizuno's Wave Rebellion Pro Beta. I'm gonna give you my thoughts, my review, what I like, what I dislike about the shoe. Let's get to it. My name is Aubrey, I'm a runner, and I'm good with being me. I really am. At the time of filming this, you guys have given me 17,100 subscribers. We're approaching that 18,000 mark, and I'm super grateful. Thank you very much. Disclosures. I went to Amsterdam. Let me say that again. I went to Amsterdam with Believe in the Run and Mizuno to run the Amsterdam Half Marathon. That is mind blowing. That alone is just mind blowing. That alone is several videos. Anyway, the half marathon I ran, I ran in this shoe. Provided by Mizuno, the trip was by Mizuno, and therefore, you're likely thinking, this guy is gonna be biased. He's gonna say nice things about this just because if he doesn't, he's not gonna be taken to Mizuno's trips going forward. I'm very glad to say that the people I connected with don't work that way. And those are the type of people I wanna connect with. They've encouraged my thoughts. They've encouraged my feedback. Okay, so let's start with the three things that you need to know. The weight. The first version weighed in at 233 grams and it got heavier to 240 for the second one. So the third one, a 238, a bit lighter. Still heavier than the first one, 238. Bang. Let's talk about the stack height. Now, this is a bit tricky to explain. So tricky, I don't know how to explain it. You see, when people measure the stack height, they will measure part way from the back and measure up. Well, this part has had his heel cut off. Therefore, the part that you would measure about here, about here on, on the midsole, that is race legal. Therefore, this shoe is race legal. However, if you keep going down, the tallest part of that shoe on the midsole is Mount Kirimanjaro. This bad boy is tall. And we're gonna touch on that in a little bit because it poses a few challenges, but I'll touch on it in a little bit. The rest of that, honestly, I don't know what the stack height actually is. I actually don't. In terms of the price, now I like this, 210 pounds here in the UK. That's not too bad considering competition. Let's start with the review the way I normally do it, starting from the top and working our way down. Okay, the heel. Honestly, no issues. In the inside over there, you're gonna see the padding inside there. That works really, really well in terms of the lockdown. I didn't have any issues there. And also it does offer you some structure and you can push that. Yes, it does. It does have some give, but it gives you a good hold. I did the runner's loop to give me that extra hold. And that probably is the reason that I did get a secure hold. I've got no issues whatsoever with that. In terms of the tongue, it's not gusseted. What Mizuno has done though, there's two mechanisms to kind of give a secure position for the tongue. You're gonna to see that little strip over here. You can feed the laces through the tongue, holding it in place. And then outside of that too, there are then these two additional kind of eyelets in the tongue, if I can call them that, and that holds the tongue. But personally, I would have preferred to have this tongue gusseted. There is actually a good reason this time 
apart from just me being obsessed with gussets and tongues. And I'll touch on that in the next point when I talk of this midsole. The upper. Normally I will talk about performance first and then aesthetics. But no, let's start with the aesthetics. Hand on heart, Mizuno makes the most eye-catching, whether you like that or not, that's neither here nor there, but this is undeniably eye-catching. This is a shoe for me that I think you can't ignore, and I love that. And also, because I watch National Geographic, zebras actually have stripes to confuse the enemies and all this kind of stuff when they're chasing them, um, the predators, to make sure that they can get away. There were no lions in Amsterdam, so we're all good, we're all good. In terms of the performance, there are perforations dotted around, literally, all over this shoe. It just works very well in terms of that breathability. However, the security, the hold. For me, it's not the fault of the upper. The upper is perfect in that regard. But you see the way this shoe is kind of positioned. Even just looking at it, you can see that your foot is being pushed to be in the forfeit. You can see that. And therefore, when you're running, that's exaggerated even more. And therefore, your foot is held in this position where you really need a good lockdown. The upper itself is perfect. I've got no faults, but it's the next bit I wanna talk about. I feel like the best thing about the shoe is also its worst enemy. And what do I mean by that? This is an aggressive shoe. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I'm not kicking out three minute piquet pace, four minute piquet pace. I'm therefore trodden around in a five minute piquet pace and for the run I did over here, pushing it towards that six minute piquet pace. And when you're running at that pace and your foot is like this, you need the calf muscles or the lower leg muscles of He-Man, okay? You need strength. And if you look at my body and my frame, I'm top heavy. I kind of did struggle a little bit because it's holding me up like this and I ran it in two hours. Two hours of running like this, I find very tough. And that to me is the challenge with this midsole. It's very aggressive and more suitable for people that are gonna utilize the geometry of this shoe. For people like me that are running at that slower pace, I find this to be too aggressive because I'm, I'm constantly like this. This shoe is your best friend. If you're, you're looking for someone to just push you, this shoe will do that. In terms of the makeup of the midsole itself, this Mizuno Energy XP, excellent foam. Honestly, it just feels great. It's the geometry of the foam itself that I found challenging. The other bit that I would say is the wave plate. So we've got a carbon plate or carbon infused plate, one of the two in there. That is a good companion. If you're the type of person looking to break maybe a sub three hours and you can consistently push that pace, I can't recommend a better shoe. However, if you run like me, this is the shoe. Or this shoe. The Mizuno Neo Vista. The geometry of this is closer to what you and I will probably be used to. But we didn't come to talk about this shoe. We came to talk about this one. And that's the thing to me with this midsole. I don't think a runner like me at my paces can do themselves justice in this shoe. But, outsole. Now this, I'm gonna make a big statement here. This is the best outsole I have run in. In terms of coverage, there is nothing exposed here. This is full coverage throughout, but the texture, the grip on this thing. Now I normally talk Puma grip as best in class, as the standard for this kind of performance when it comes to outsoles. But I have to tell you, this is easily, easily the best outsole that I have run in. Let's summarize and wrap this up. This shoe is a perfect shoe for what it is. Ryan from Believe in the Run got his PB, trimmed off 25, 26 minutes in this shoe. If you're a faster runner than I am, and there'll be plenty of those, this would be the shoe to definitely check out, at least try it. But for the type of running I do, Neo Vista all the way, this one is a bit too fast and a bit too aggressive for me. And also I lack the lower leg calf endurance to utilize a shoe like this. Just an honest opinion, and I hope you will appreciate it from that perspective.